One of my favorite things is songwriting and composing. I haven't talked about that a ton on my channel and I will more in the future, but I just love getting creative, making things up, making up melodies, harmonizing it and crafting something. And I was just reflecting on the one, four and five chord. And I wanted to share with you kind of uh, a little etude exercise that I was doing for myself to get more comfortable with harmonizing melodies on the guitar with specifically in this case, the one chord, the four chord or the five chord. So if you've heard of chords existing together in a key, you've probably heard of one, four and five and C that would be the C chord, the F chord and the G chord. There are seven notes in a scale and there are chords that are built off of each of those notes. So this is the first chord built off the one, the chord built off the fourth scale degree number and the chord built off the fifth scale degree number. So why is one, four and five so special? It's kind of the grouping of chords that we hear about all the time, or we hear people making fun of how popular music only uses one, four, and five. Well, they are the three major chords in a key, but why is that special? Well, it's because those three chords can harmonize the entire major scale or diatonic scale. Any note you play in the key can be harmonized by one, four, or five. And so that's why so much music actually uses just one, four and five. And it's not just pop music and it's not just folk music. The most classic classical melodies that you can think of the most popular melodies, a lot of them are using just one, four and five, like Brahms lullaby or something like that. One chord in G still on one five chord, still the five chord. Still the five chord. Five, back to one. Just one and five. That's like this iconic, iconic melody that babies around the world are falling asleep to. Just one and five. So one and five are powerful enough, and the four chord um, fills it out by harmonizing one or two um, necessary notes of the scale to get every note of the scale harmonized with something. So what I like to do is play up and down the scale and harmonize each melody note, each scale note with either one, four or five. Whether I'm singing it and just playing a chord or I'm playing the melody on top and then a voicing underneath, which is what I'm gonna walk you through here so you can do this for yourself. This very much, we're playing a scale. We're gonna play a scale up and down, but it's so closely connected to just being able to unlock a song and, and harmonizing and, and making something with, with full control over why the melody works with the chords. So we're gonna play a C major scale. We're gonna play from this C to this C and then another octave. We're gonna harmonize with one, four or five with all of those. But let's just go up and down and try to make it sound nice and, and understand what we're doing here. We're gonna play the one of the scale. We have to harmonize it with something. We don't have much to do. We're just gonna play this. Low G below it and we're calling this a C chord. Just two notes, okay? We're gonna play the two of the scale and we're gonna harmonize it with G. And when the two can be harmonized with the five chord, okay? Three of the scale, we're harmonizing it with the one chord. Four of the scale, we're harmonizing it with the four chord. And I'm just finding some kind of voicing. You can see the shape on screen. Okay, four chord. This is the first inversion of F. Okay, scale degree five. We're harmonizing it with the one chord. Now that can also be harmonized with the five chord. So I like to do both of those. Okay, here comes five to six of the scale. Wow, it's like, it doesn't sound like a scale, right? It sounds like a song or a melody or something, or a lullaby since we're kind of in lullaby mode. Okay, so I'm on scale degree six and scale degree six can always be harmonized with the four chord of the key, okay? Up to six to seven. Seven can be harmonized with the five chord of the key. And back to one. Okay, let's keep going. One to two, scale degree two. This is G over B, this is the five chord. Let's go to three. Three is harmonized by the one chord. And now three to four, harmonized by the four chord. Five, harmonized by one. And then also harmonized by five. Five to six, 
that's that four chord supporting six, seven, the five chord supporting seven, and back to one. Now, what I'm doing here is that the one of the scale can be supported by the one chord, which we've been doing, as well as the four chord. This is a inversion of F major, F major, the four chord, one chord. So it kind of concludes, concludes a little bit. Yeah, that's it, its own little thing. So any of these, right, if I'm playing five, So just messing around with, okay, playing with scale, but harmonizing it. Um, so really thinking of, of that stuff by having gone through it kind of up and down and playing around with that. So now I'll just play through it without talking so you can just hear it in a more straightforward way. So this kind of exploration is just one of my very favorite things to do because it kind of feels like everything is meeting in the middle. Like it's studying and practicing, but it's it's kind of composing and it's kind of improvising. And, and most importantly, I'm, I'm really trying to feel something from it and, and express something from it along the way and really have it be real music, have it be just sitting and existing musically in a musical way and, and having that be enough, having that be the point, the end game. Like I'm, I'm sitting here making music and I'm getting in touch with what it is as a language. I was playing some slight alterations on some of these chords, make them kind of open and airy. I have a big chord chart called Chords with Color that has a bunch of chords just like that and many, many more through a bunch of keys. It's totally for free. You can get that with the link in the top of the description or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color. It's a very cool resource if you want to check it out. I post a new lesson video every week. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing.